Assists are an important part of the sim racing experience. They provide accessibility to people who use controllers and those who might have disabilities or kids. As a child, I was the only one who was into racing games. And every time I saw my friends play racing games, instead of moving the analog stick, they just tilt their whole body to try and steer the car. Those are the kind of people that need these assists. And one of those happens to be the braking assist. The point of this assist is that it will slow you down if it thinks you're going way too fast into a corner and they're just gonna fly off the track. Now watch till the end because I found some hilarious results when I decided to find out how much slower you are when using the braking assist. So even though no one actually uses this assist, I'm just going to do this comparison anyway, so of course, braking assist high on the left hand side, the highest braking assist you can have, and then none on the right hand side, so no braking assist. As we head into turn 1, so the trick here with turn 1 China is to actually kind of coast your way to the apex, or maybe some light braking, but I just go to the apex, that's pretty much my strategy. Now here, interestingly enough, the game doesn't let me press the accelerator with high braking assist, so I'm literally just kind of stuck there waiting, and you can see how it almost acts like a traction control, they kind of let, making me release the accelerator which is very interesting you think that it's one that affects the brakes but it also affects the accelerator you can see how it's actually holding it back on acceleration giving some very jerky movements through there but weirdly enough in some cases it actually works properly for you but in other cases like there it just lets you run wide for absolutely no reason and it just kind of cuts off the throttle a whole time and look at that now a whole three seconds down the now even when you ran wide there, the game just fell mercy. It was like, I'm so sorry, you're so slow. It doesn't even invalidate our lap, even though we went past the white line. It's just hilarious. Now, as we get through this nice long right-hander, heading towards China's long straight, you can see how much it was basically acting like traction control. Right now, we finally are on to the straight. 3.3 seconds behind the personal best time. But now as the no assist heads out onto the finish line, that with the 133.7, we end up with a 137.0 with high braking assist. So just turn this off. 